everyone. Um, my name is Maurice. I'm coming from Nordhof. Unfortunately, I will be, be speaking in English, but hopefully you will understand. I would like to give you an overview how you can actually improve the business processes with big data. I think that everyone of you are on a daily basis looking for a uh, next 10% of efficiency gain. Okay. Where can you find a way to cut more costs or make the processes more uh, smoother? And the question is, can big data actually help you? Before I answer that, let me tell you what is big data. There are different ways of explaining that. It might be unstructured, better structured, it might be a lot of data, millions of terabytes, it might be a lot of data with different structures coming in with a high velocity. There is no clear definition for big data. We are focusing just on the data that you have in your existing systems. This is your data. The question is how you can use that. By statistics, 80 to 90 percent of enterprise data is not used because it's unstructured, it's difficult to uh, parse, it's difficult to model, it's difficult to integrate. Think about your processes. The processes that you operate on every day, you love them. They are part of your business. They are actually generating your business. You have developed them for years and they are fine-tuned. But some, on the same time, they are very long ones, they are complex ones. And it is very difficult to actually see what is there. There are a lot of data about what is happening inside the processes, but we don't see inside them. Can this be improved? So what we do normally, we are drafting a manual business process, swim lines. This is our view of how we see the process. But also we have a process log steps. We know exactly how our processes are operating day on today on, day, on, on daily basis, and in each step there is a log which you could use. And this is the information that how exactly your processes are operating. And the question is, can you use this information even if it's unstructured? This is the re-engineer business process sample from the logs, developed based on the logs. So our approach is to take the logs and re-engineer the business process to actually show you how it looks. You can run such a way, re-engineer all your processes, what you have, and even you can play with them. It's actually a, a simple one. So the Yellow bubbles start to emerge, they are passing through the process, and you can see that there are a lot of mess. This is a sample of one help desk system uh, re engineer business process, where the customer was saying, after we show them the visualization, this is not our process. It cannot be like this. What's the difference between business intelligence and process mining? Because I believe that you have the business intelligence. If this is your process, then what do you do with business intelligence? You divide the process into a process stages and into a departments. Each of the steps is, is executed by different departments. And then you summarize. But you actually don't see what is inside the process. You just see slice and dice spread between the different perspectives but they will not tell you the full picture. What you need to have is the actual efficient solution to collect all the logs, all the process events what you have. You need to re-engineer on a daily basis how your processes are actually executed, what is the variance, how there are ex some kind of exception happening. You need to find out the bottlenecks, where we are spending our money, where we are spending our or wasting our time. And you need to have a efficient operation tools to actually monitor and make decisions on a daily basis. Just think about 3D movie when you go to the cinema with your kids. This is what you see if you, uh, if you don't have the glasses. It's like we operate our business. We, we know that there, there, there is a movie, but we do not see every single detail there. 
And through smiling, we'll give you the glasses to actually see what is happening inside. You need to have it in order to find the next minus 10, 15 percent of efficiency. So we have experiment, experienced this, and we have shown that actually it works. That's the next source for you to find the additional efficiency check. If you are interested on that, just let us know. We are really uh, happy to give you the, 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 the understanding. And we believe that this is the next thing where you, how you can actually improve your business results. Thank you.